today we're going to be roasting a rack of lamb in a slow cooker. And all you need is a few simple ingredients, maybe a few vegetables for the side, so stay tuned because this recipe is up next. Here I've got a hack chop of a French rack of lamb. Just going to season it here with a few pinches of kosher salt and pepper. Then I'll just flip it over here and get the other side. Then I like to pick it up and dab the ends with the leftover spilt salt and pepper. Make sure it's all good to go. Now here I've got some sliced seasoned onion and potato. I'm going to add that to the bottom of the crock pot. Then lay the rack of lamb right over the top. Now all we need is some aromatics like rosemary and several cloves of garlic. Cover with a lid and set this baby on low. Now this is a new crock pot for me and I noticed that the lid was leaking out steam. So I put some saran wrap underneath there to try to block that and keep it from evaporating. I don't want a dry rack of lamb. If you have this issue, figure it out. In the meantime, you might want to consider making some gravy for your lamb and vegetables. There's lots of different recipes and ways to do it, but I showed you how to do it in my lamb chop recipe using the bits in the bottom of that pan. So if you're interested in this recipe, I'll post it at the end of this video and in the description below. For this slow cooker recipe, however, I highly recommend making this cherry glaze. It will top this rack of lamb beautifully. Again, I posted this recipe a while back, and I'll share this at the end of the video and in the description below as well. Look for cherry pie filling. And now that six hours has gone by, let's see what we've got. Mmm, that's the money shot. And pulling this out with the tongs, the bones started falling out on me, so I had to be really careful. Now I'll just plate these roasted potatoes and onions. And on a side note here, you wouldn't believe how good this house smells right now. Just lay that right over the top. And let's dig in so we can show you how tender. Oh, see that? Just split. No force at all. See, it's just flaking. Wow. Don't forget the gravy. And there you have it. Roasted rack of lamb right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.